Hello, I hope you are fine. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Sugar Industry Knowledge and Technology. Today, the topic which I am going to discuss in this video is a brief introduction to production house of a sugar industry. Sometimes it is also called boiling house. In this video, I will explain the general concepts how is sugar made after the juice has been extracted from sugarcane. It should be noted that maximum of the processes for the production of white sugar in sugar industry are physical in nature. Now, move towards today's topic. After the extraction of juice, the juice is subjected to pass from various processes to get white sugar. The major processes are, 1. Heating of raw juice. 2. Defecation. 3. Juice clarification. 4. Evaporation of clear juice. 5. Graining. 6. Crystallization Part 1. 7. Centrifugation Part 1. 8. Remelting or raw liquor formation. 9. Liquor clarification. 10. Crystallization Part 2. 11. Centrifugation Part 2. 12. Drying of white sugar. Now, we briefly understand all processes one by one. And it is to be noted that in coming videos I will explain all process one by one in detail. The first process of boiling house is heating of juice. The raw juice obtained from sugarcane is subjected to the process of heating. For this purpose, the heaters are used and in sugar industry these are named as primary heaters. The juice is heated up to 75 degrees Celsius. The juice is flowing inside the tubes of heaters and the heating media is used outside the tubes. The heating media for this process may be hot water, third or fourth vapors according to the condition adopted by chemists of every mill. The second process is defecation. As the raw juice obtained from the mill is acidic in nature having pH value 5.2 to 5.8. So, for its neutralization a process named as defecation is adopted. For this purpose, milk of lime or lime sucrate is used to gain 7.5 pH. The significance of this process lies in the fact that it controls the inversion of sucrose due to low pH. After defecation, the lime juice is again heated above its boiling point say 105 degrees Celsius in secondary heaters. After that juice clarification process is triggered on. The main aim of clarification is to remove these non-sugar impurities of raw juice received from mill. This raw juice is turbid liquid with various colors from light gray to green. It contains many soluble and insoluble impurities. The juice before entering into clarifier is passed from flash tank from which unwanted gases can be removed. The clarification of sugar cane juice occurs by coagulation, flocculation, and precipitation of the colloids and pigmented substances, which are later eliminated by decanting. In this process, the impurities in the form of mud settle down in the clarifier and the clear juice is separate out. The clarified juice has 1.5 to 2 degree more purity than that of raw juice. The pH of clarified juice should be 6.9 to 7. The fourth major process is evaporation. The juice obtained from the clarifiers is now termed as clear juice. In the process of evaporation, the clear juice is evaporated in falling or rising film evaporators to convert it into concentrated liquid named as syrup. The juice having bricks value 15 is converted into syrup having bricks value about 70. The heating media for this purpose is exhaust steam having temperature about 125 degrees Celsius and 1.5 kg per centimeter square pressure. Here, it is to be noted that 1 bricks equals 1 gram sucrose dissolved in 100 ml solution at 20 degrees Celsius. Now, move towards the next process named as graining. Graining is defined as a process of establishment of sugar nuclei or grain in graining material for further development during crystallization process. The first graining process is done in raw batch pans. There are so many graining techniques which play very important role in the exhaustion and centrifuging of the masiculate. After that the process of crystallization is used. The grain material obtained from raw batch pan is dropped into crystallizer for cooling. From crystallizer, it is taken in continuous pan, where feed of syrup is given to the grain material for the growth of crystals. 
Continuous pan has 12 compartments and juices continuously flow through them and charge up with syrup. The material obtained from continuous pan is known as masicuate. Masicuate can be defined as it is the mixture of sugar crystals and mother liquor. The next process is centrifugation. The masicuate obtained is cooled in crystallizer before the process of centrifugation. In the process of centrifugation, the crystals are separate out from the mother liquor, termed as molasses, in centrifugal machine rotating about at 2000 revolutions per minute. After centrifugation, the next process is remelting. As, we obtained the sugar from masicuate by centrifugation. This sugar is termed as raw sugar as it has impurities in it and its color is more. This sugar is refined further for the production of refined sugar in refined pan. For this, the raw sugar is melted by using high temperature and pressure vapors. The material obtained after remelting is termed as raw liquor. Raw liquor obtained has so many impurities in it and high in color. In order to obtain a fine liquor, it is subjected to the process of clarification. Phosphoric acid, decolorizer, lime sucrate, tallow float and tallow flock chemicals are used for the process of decolorization and clarification of raw liquor. For this purpose, flotation clarifiers are used. The liquor obtained from flotation clarifiers is then passed from DBF filters, pressure filters, Eaton filter ETC in order to get polished liquor used for the production of refined white sugar. Again the process of crystallization is triggered on. The fine liquor obtained now clear and low in color is used in refined pan for the production of refined white sugar. The seed of refined sugar is introduced into refined pan and charged with fine liquor. The seed will eat up sucrose molecules from the supersaturated solution and grow. When crystal in masicuate gets desired size, the pan is dropped in the crystallizer for cooling. The masicuate obtained is called as refined masicuate. The next process is the centrifugation of refined masicuate. The refined masicuate is introduced into the centrifugal machine for the separation of refined white sugar crystals from runoff named as mother liquor. For this purpose, high RPM centrifugal machines are used so that there should be a little chance for molasses to entrap in the crystals, which affects the quality of white sugar. The last major process used is drying. The refined white sugar obtained from the process of centrifugation is wet and has moisture in it. So, before its packaging, it should be passed through dryer section where hot air blower are used for the subjected purpose. It should be noted that refined white sugar having less moisture has more shelf life. After that the refined white sugar is packed and stored in go downs. Today's video elaborate the general and brief introduction to production house of a sugar industry. In next coming videos, all processes will be discussed in more detail and in depth. For learning, please keep visiting my YouTube channel. Thanks you for watching.